<laughs> Meanwhile, Puerto Rico still just dealing with uh, an untold amount of, literally untold amount of, of suffering. And Ryan Zinke, this is pretty crazy. So Puerto Rico has a state-owned uh, utility. Usually what happens in these instances when a utility company is dealing with this type of, um, when a utility company is dealing with this type of, of devastation, they usually uh, get into mutual aid agreements with other utilities in a similar locality, okay? So, for instance, um, Florida, Texas, they have these agreements. Florida gets hit. They send electrical workers from Texas over there to help with the grid because, obviously, they have uh, an apparatus and they have a team set up, et cetera, et cetera. So for whatever reason, it's unclear why. I'm sure, it has absolutely nothing to do with Ryan Zinke, who's the interior secretary. Puerto Rico state-owned utilities turned to a company that is only two years old from Montana that on the day Maria hit Puerto Rico, had two employees. Two employees. Now, maybe they were the most expert. Best people. The best people, the most. Only the best. Well-versed when it came to Puerto Rico's electrical grid. There can't be 25 best people. There can only be two. <laughs> There's only two. They wrote and what And, of versed. course, they're in Montana. Ah, uh, Zinky, clever guy. Well, Where's my cut? Here's the thing. The hurricane hits. If they're in Puerto Rico, maybe they get hurt. If they're in Montana, no chance. Got to think ahead. Got to stay away a from the... A lot of Puerto Ricans don't think ahead, and the that's a problem, folks. is Whitefish Energy, and it said that it had signed a $300 million contract with the Puerto Rico Electric Power Authority to repair and reconstruct large portions of the island's electrical infrastructure. It is the biggest contract issued in the relief effort. As of Monday, uh, Whitefish now has 280 workers in the territory using linemen from across the country, most of them subcontractors, and that number uh, grows on average from 10 to 20 uh, people a day. So at least the money is not being paid to a corporate structure within Puerto Rico that could pay taxes on something like that, maybe. Right. Oh, right. No, well, the two guys back in Montana are on the phones with them constantly. How's it going? The power authority, known as PREPA, opted to hire whitewash rather than activate the mutual aid agreements it has with other utilities. Uh, unclear why. Whitefish, um, did I call it whitewash? They've said the company's expertise in mountainous areas makes it well-suited for the work. Those yep. two guys. These guys know mountains. They know mountains. I mean, it's unbelievable. I didn't know Puerto Rico had mountains. I thought it only had rum, like bad loans. It says, it, 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 it acknowledged that it only had two full-time employees when Maria struck, but says its business model calls for ramping up rapidly by hiring workers on short-term contracts. Nice. <laughs> nice. Super nice. Meanwhile, Zinke, there was a story in, um, in Politico that Zinke has been deeply involved in scam packs. Where's my cut? That operate out of the Caribbean. Nice. So the whole scam pack thing, if you've ever signed up for an email from any Republican entity or any conservative thing, they sell your email almost quicker than it takes them to actually send you an email. And eventually you will get emails from these scam organizations. And what they do is they raise money it's a tax-free donation, and then they spend all the money 
on their operating costs of their life. It's not a bad one. <laughs> uh, Zinke has some very weird relationships, apparently. He, again, was the uh, congressman from Montana until he became uh, Secretary of the Interior. I can't imagine that Zinke was down in Puerto Rico saying, like, uh, you should maybe use this outfit. I don't know. So, Zinke uh, has been, has had this relationship with this guy, Scott McKenzie, who's, he's the organizer of the Virgin Islands GOP Political Action Committee. Uh-huh. Pretty, pretty important group. They've done a lot for Rob and me and a lot of us, in fact. Republicans in the Caribbean island chain have accused McKenzie of misrepresenting itself to donors. What, that's a crime now? It's a crime. That's not a, it's not a crime. It's just a mistake. Um, nobody's clear. Nobody's accusing Zinke of doing anything illegal, but one campaign finance expert said that the information gleaned from this report on McKenzie's PACs show that Zinke was not behaving like a typical politician. And I don't think it was he was bucking the system. <laughs> Zinke is uh, separately facing investigations by Interior's internal watchdog and independent office of special counsel over his habit of mixing politics and official business. He has cut his ties with these PACs since he's been sworn in. But apparently these PACs He's been using to drive money there. And some, uh, like this one guy, Rip, Representative Will Hurd from Texas, was angered when the Virgin Islands GOP used his photo without permission on fundraising solicitations. Oh, so we shouldn't spread the free market to the Virgin Islands now? And he said that uh, the uh, Virgin Island groups and Forthright, which is another one of these packs, are preying on seniors in a disgusting attempt to enrich themselves, which, oddly enough, is also the logo of the Republican Party. You're disgusting my enrichment. <laughs> Forthright says it raised $1.9 million for Zinke's 2014 race by sending out 1.6 million pieces of email attracting 44,000 new donors. About half of that haul went to Zinke's campaign for voter mail, radio ads, TV ads, get out the vote activities, and lawn signs. But that was less than the 608000 that Zinke campaign spent on postage and direct mail from Century Data Mailing Service. So they're... What are we doing? I'm, I'm going I'm going to become a Republican congressman. It was just very weird. Slice the operating... So Six hundred eight thousand on postage was spent on direct mail services that is located, oddly enough, in the exact same address as the pack. Well, you fucking know. We're going to show you how to raise money completely tax free, and then spend it with yourself on the materials that you use to raise the money. Yeah, and that's I think, the business. I think I found a renewable resource. <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. Hey, did, is this, uh, am I remembering correctly that, was it that, was one of um, DeLay's scandals that he had a relationship with Guam? Not Guam. It was the Mariana Islands. The Mariana Islands. And, and part of the scam was that, they would they, pay they, him to get labor laws uh, and then excluded. Could, yes, but they could put made in the USA, but yes. then have the same conditions as any Asian sweatshop. It, exactly. That was the hustle, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL. And you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.